firstly, thank you, uh, Professor McGray, for your kind words um, and for your attendance here today and for your support to the Washington Ireland program um, over the past few years. Thank you very much. Ambassador, Director of the Northern Ireland Bureau, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you greatly for all being here today. And I want to thank in particular the Ambassador and Mrs. Collins for hosting this event and opening your beautiful home to us here this evening. The support that you and the Irish Embassy provide to the Washington Ireland programme throughout the summer and over the years has been unwavering, and for that, we are extremely grateful. My name is Fintan Phelan, and I hail from a small county in the southeast of Ireland, <laughs> the second smallest, in fact, County Carlow. <laughs> I'm going into final year studying economics, politics, and law at Dublin City University. My internship this summer was with Congressman Peter King, and I am very grateful to the Congressman and his staff for providing me with an unrivaled insight into American politics. The bonds that we have created this summer between the entire class of 2012 have been heartwarming, and our friendships will continue long after the summer. And it is a great privilege and honor to speak on behalf of you all here this afternoon. If not us, who? If not now, when? And if not here, where? Those three simple statements have stuck with me throughout this summer. Throughout the vast leadership curriculum of the Washington Ireland program, I have been challenged, enthused, and inspired. Challenged by the discussions I had with my peers on the future of Ireland and Northern Ireland. Enthused by motivational speakers such as Neil O'Dowd, and Jake Sullivan, inspired by America and her great leaders such as George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. I have realized that each and every one of us has a role to play in our country. Not a role in the future, but a role now, today, as young leaders. There are two facets of the Washington Ireland program which have stood out to me in particular throughout the summer. The first is the relationship between Ireland and Northern Ireland, and the second is the Irish-American relationship. Exploring the relationship between Ireland and Northern Ireland was one of the key motivating reasons for me in applying to this programme. Very quickly, I realised that we all must move beyond the labels that we attach to each other, whether that be unionist, nationalist, loyalist, republican. Instead, we must actively seek to understand one another. Because it is only through understanding each other that we can hope to sustain peace on our island and write a better future. Let me give you an example of how the Washington Ireland program has dealt with the relationship between Ireland and Northern Ireland. Just last week we had a presentation on the 12th of July and the Unionist Orange tradition. What followed the presentation was an open frank and honest discussion about what it means to be Irish, Northern Irish, and British. If we had this discussion in week one or two, labels would have been attached to people. But because we had it, after spending six weeks sitting beside each other, laughing at my great jokes, <laughs> and, running, and running from the number of storms together. <laughs> Whatever it was, we had built up a tremendous understanding and respect for each other. That understanding and respect shone through in our discussion last week. And you know, sometimes it's more about the way you frame the question than the question itself. The Washington Ireland program has created the framework in which we can all engage in an understanding and respectful way with each other. And that has been an invaluable asset. The duty is now upon us to go back to our countries and to continue this engagement. After living here in Washington for eight weeks, it is hard not to be struck by the strong relationship between Ireland and the United States. In fact, it was hard not to be struck by it in the first five minutes from the airport when Shane McGowan's fairy tale of New York was playing on my host dad's ferry over, even though it's not Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's medication. <laughs> The Irish-American relationship is unique. It transcends generations and encompasses thousands. It is not just a relationship 
between two sovereign states. It is much more than that. And that is something that has stuck and stood out to me throughout this summer. Whether it was seeing a 17th century map of my hometown, Carlow, in New York, or meeting prominent Irish Americans such as Goldman Sachs, Deirdre O'Connor, or seeing an Irish senator drop into Congressman Peter King's office on my first day, which, by the way, saw me play an interesting role as interpreter between the congressman and the carryman. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was, there wasn't one single day this summer that I did not feel the strong relationship between our two countries. The links we've established here in Washington with our internships, our great host families, and with our guest speakers are more links to add to the rich relationship between our countries. And that is a relationship we must continue to nurture and cherish. Ladies and gentlemen, the Washington Ireland program has strengthened the relationship between Ireland, Northern Ireland, and the United States. Times are tough at home, just like here. Let there be no doubt about that. But the Washington Ireland program has renewed our spirits for the future. We go back to our countries challenged, in twos, and inspired. Ireland and Northern Ireland have a bright future. One of the founders of Modern Ireland, Sean Lamast, once said, a defeatist attitude now is certain to lead to defeat. It's primarily a question of whether we have confidence in ourselves and in the abilities and the diligence and determination of our people. We can't opt out of the future. And he's right, so let's shape it. Thank you. It is now a great honor to introduce uh, Mrs. Louise Little, a member of the management team with the Washington Ireland program. Louise has been a great support to us throughout the summer, and particularly with the core team of the program in terms of dealing with difference. And I now invite uh, Louise to the podium. Thank you.